What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to talk about power conditioners. Do you need one or not? Make sure if you guys like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But with no further delay, let's get right into these power conditioners, baby. Some, some, some. Hit the key. All right, guys, so I want to send a very special shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. If Zounds was a woman, I'd marry her. But for real, I love me some Zounds. Um, Zounds is great for all musicians because if you don't have the money in your pocket right now, but you really need a tool, you can hop on over to Zounds, boom, and you can get a power conditioner like this on credit. So this is the current power conditioner I have. We'll talk about this a little bit later on in the video, but you can see here, there is no credit check needed. Um, you can receive this right now in eight payments of $49, six payments of 66 or four for 99. But again, over at Zounds, they have a lot of great stuff that you can get. Um, even if you don't have the credit for it, use my link below, because you know what it helps the channel, uh, but with no extra cost to you. So now let's talk about power conditioners for a minute. Who needs power conditioners? Well, here's my thoughts with power conditioners. If you are serious about music and you have equipment, you need a power conditioner. If you only have a computer, an interface, you know what I'm saying, and maybe some monitors, you might not need a power conditioner because it's you don't have that much equipment. So you have to think about it. Is it worth investing in a power conditioner if you only have you know $600 worth of equipment? Now, if you're like me, and I'm not trying to flex, this is no flex by no means, but like, let's say you have a mic that's expensive, you have expensive keyboards, you have preamps, you have you know all kinds of different stuff going on over here, then you need a power conditioner. And here's the reason why. Most places, the power is dirty. And so it doesn't make sense when you talk about dirty and clean power to somebody who doesn't understand electricity. I don't understand it all the way, but what I do understand is as soon as I plugged my speakers into my power conditioner, they got louder and it took away a lot of static. And so if you listen to a lot of music and you do a lot of music, you'll notice in a lot of equipment, you hear white noise and you don't know why you're hearing that white noise. You're checking all your, check your signal flows, you're checking everything. And the more you turn stuff up, the louder that white noise gets it's probably because you have dirty electricity. And so what the power conditioner is gonna do is it's not only it's gonna clean up the power for you, um, it's gonna give you a bunch of different outlets. So it's gonna be kind of like um, a power strip, except for it cleans up the power. And then it's also gonna protect your 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 all your equipment. So like a normal power strip, a really good power strip protects up to I think 2000 joules and a power conditioner can, can protect up to 2,775 joules. So that's almost a third more that it can protect for you. Um, so those are things to think about as well. So again, I just wanna stress that things that a power conditioner are gonna do for you is it's going to add more detail into your speakers and your headphones, whether you realize it or not, because once it starts taking out that pink and that white noise, it's going to allow you to hear more detail. It's gonna allow for you to hear more dynamics because some of that white noise is going to cover up some of those dynamics. Plus it's going to just give you again, a cleaner signal. So a cleaner signal is gonna allow for you to get more detail. So what you notice when you're looking at the Black Lion PG2 is when you'll start over here, right here, that is the thermal circuit breaker. And then next to that, we have the power. Um, so this powers things off in stages. So it powers things off in two stages, three seconds and six stages. So everything doesn't power off at the same time. You have an XLR lamp that you can hook up here. And right above that is the dimmer. So the dimmer controls that on the XLR lamp. Um, right next to that, we have ground okay. So we have our digital screen right here that tells us how our power is going. Right now, everything looks good and everything looks clean. Next to that, we have wiring fault. So it tells us if we have faulty wiring. Uh, next to that, it tells us if our power is clean. Um, next to that, it tells us if we have any kind of abnormal voltage. And then right there, it tells us our protection's on. Um, this thing has a total of 14 different outlets. I mean, it has two on the front and then it has 12 on the back. And then it also has a USB port right here. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the outlets on the back of the unit. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I'm not pulling my unit out because I already have it locked in and I already have everything plugged in. And in order to take it out, I lose everything in my setup. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pull off the computer. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We're on Black Lion site right now. And so as we look, there's three different kinds of uh, outlets on the back. So you have digital outlets, as you can see, you get four of those. And then next to that, you're gonna get the analog uh, audio outlets. And then next to that, you get high current outlets. And this is where you're gonna plug your speakers in and stuff like that. Um, and the thing that's cool about this is like the high current outlets are gonna always turn off last. 
So it's not going to pop. Your speakers aren't going to pop. Nothing's going to happen. And they always turn on last. So nothing's going to pop. And I'll show you guys that here in just a moment as well. It's also got a rear lamp, a dimmer back here. It's got your ground and then it's got your power cord right there. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features here on the Black Line PG2. So it's a 14 outlet power conditioner. It's got PG99 filtering technology for an average of 99.7 noise reduction. It's got front and back panel XLR lamp connectors for lighting. Um, it's got a voltage meter, which helps show current voltage in real time. It's got status LEDs and an audio siren help alert for dangerous power scenarios. Um, it's got Panasonic and Wima capacitors to filter out performance robbing high frequency noise. So I got proper safeguard protection with a proper absorption rating of 2,775 joules, um, 12 switchback panel outlets and two unswitched front panel outlets. So the two on the front don't turn off even when you turn the power off. It's got four set of optimized outlets for digital audio times two, analog audio and high current devices, time delayed outlets for high current devices to help protect speakers and amplifiers, two stage power up and down system. All right, guys, so now what I wanna do is I wanna kind of show you how everything kind of staged down and shuts down. Um, so I'm gonna step back. I'm just gonna use my, my phone for a second and I'm gonna turn off everything and I'm gonna let you see how everything kind of staged down and powers down. Um, it's not gonna show you everything because like certain things are plugged into the computer. The computer obviously has power on its own, so on and so forth. Like some of these lights aren't plugged into the power conditioner, so they're not gonna cut off too. But in like this TV's not, but you'll see like the monitor starts to shut off. This starts to shut off. That starts to shut off. Other, other things start to shut off um, that, are, that are plugged in and turned on, like my interface over here and stuff like that. So, all right, guys, sorry about the audio quality here. Um, I can't use the mic to record into the audio quality because I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when you power down everything. So you'll see the two different stages, the three seconds and the six seconds. If I use the mic, obviously the interface is going to shut off. Um, so this is what it's going to look like when you shut it off. Um, so just watch everything. <laughs> so that's pretty cool the way it shuts everything down. I mean, it's the same reverse effect when you turn everything on. So when you turn everything on, you're just gonna click the power on, boom. And then you'll see. You know, and it turns everything on except for the things that have to be clicked on. So these lights I have to click on. Um, but you know, they'll come back on, but just like that. So pretty cool, you know? All right, guys, sorry about the audio there right at the end. Um, obviously when I powered down and powered up the, the power conditioner, um, I turned off my interface, which made me lose the mic. Um, so you had to deal with the phone audio. I apologize for that. Um, but you know, like I said earlier, who's the power conditioner for? Man, it's for anybody who's looking to take this music serious. It's for anybody who has a lot of equipment. It's for anybody who has noisy electricity. Um, you need to really think about getting a power conditioner because what you don't really realize is like, you can have five, six, seven thousand $7,000 worth of equipment that sounds good, but it's gonna sound better with the $300, $400 power conditioner. So I'll leave the link for Zounds down below. Uh, make sure if you guys do like this content though, drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Some, some, some hit the key.